家好，欢迎来到瑞视频，我是 Jennifer。在本期的大选特辑当中，我们邀请到一位重要的候选人，他是洛杉矶地区检察长候选人 Nathan h o t c h m a n h o t c h m a n 本身呢也拥有非常丰富的司法背景和司法经历。我们都知道，近年来洛杉矶地区的公共治安状况是非常糟糕。这次 h o t c h m a n 出来挑战贾斯康呢，也是希望有一番作为和改变。现在我们听一下他的竞选理念以及他的选战的进行情况。So my name is Nathan Hockman. I'm running for Los Angeles County District Attorney against George Gascon.、Uh, and so far, the campaign's going、uh, very, very well. Three ways you can measure a campaign:、uh, fundraising, endorsements, and polling. We are doing very well. Raising, we actually set a record. The record before me in any DA race was 1.1 million dollars. We have raised 2.511 million dollars from over 5,000 people across this county, half Democrats, half Republicans, and people who've given as little as five dollars up to the maximum of 1,500. So helping us go on TV, radio, social media, text with video,、uh, digital advertising to really get the word out to the 3.7 million people who are voting. Second, endorsements. I've got the endorsements of over. I've got over 500 endorsements. I have 320 endorsements from the DA's own prosecutors. Those are the 750 prosecutors that he's in charge of. They actually back me, not their boss,、um, which is very, very humbling. I also have the endorsements of over 70 elected city leaders, half Democrats, half Republicans,、uh, business organizations like the Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, the Central City Association.、Uh, I've got the backing of various、uh, Asian groups,、uh, law enforcement groups, firefighters, lifeguards, first responders, and then we have good polling. The last poll conducted by the Los Angeles Times shows that we're up by 30 points. But I tell the team we can't treat it like we're 30 points ahead. We have to treat it like we're 30 points behind, because anything can happen in the next two and a half weeks, and we have to keep the The pedal down to the floorboard all the way to November fifth,、uh, if we're going to win this election. Wow, that's great! I think you did a very great campaign, especially in the Chinese community. We all know you, and、uh, you reached out to the local Chinese community a lot. Yeah, would you like to、uh, tell us a little bit more about your what you're gonna do when you got elected? Yes,、uh, you know, I, it's been an honor to reach out to the Chinese community. We've had events in、uh, Rosemead in Artesia uh, very often, uh, and what I tell the Chinese community is, I said, look, I, I understand you're you. In the last three and a half years, safety has become a real issue. People breaking into your cars, your homes, whether it's hate crimes, whether it's people breaking into your stores. You know, the DA has policies that he's put in place that basically are in favor of criminals and not victims.、Mm -hmm. uh, he tried it and it didn't work, and he didn't change. He didn't course correct. He didn't pivot. He keeps the same policies, and those policies aren't working. I have 34 years of criminal justice experience. I have 10 years as a prosecutor. I was a federal prosecutor and got a presidential appointment and a unanimous U.S. Senate confirmation to run the tax division in Washington D.C. Great job. Then I've also been a defense attorney for 24 years. I headed two major international law firms' government investigations practice,、mm -hmm. and was also the president of the LA City Ethics Commission. So I look at the the Chinese community as you know, like I look at my own family. You know, I've got a, a beautiful wife, 31 years now. I've raised three kids. We're now in their 20s. I'm expecting my first grandchild next month. Wow, congratulations! Los Angeles County. I want everyone safe again in Los Angeles County. And that's why I'm running, running not just for my family, but for all the families out there,、mm -hmm. parents who are trying to teach their kids the difference between right and wrong. And the DA has a policy that says if you're under 18 and you steal under $950, he's not prosecuting you.、Mm -hmm. I think that's just wrong. You, not that you have to put people in prison and do mass incarceration,、mm -hmm. but have to be held accountable. So those are situations where someone has to do community service. Restitution, pay it back if you stole something, or if you stole something because you have a drug addiction. Let's see if we can deal with that drug addiction. We'll give you a choice: you can go to jail or go through an 18-month rehab program. Difficult program. You have to do it one day at a time. 
But if you get through it, we'll give you a certificate and wipe your record clean of the crime you committed. You know, that's sort of like, I call it the hard work middle approach because you've got to do the hard work. You've got to look at each case individually, each individual defendant and their background, the crime committed and the impact on the victim to determine who the true threats are to our public safety and have to be go behind bars, but the ones that aren't as well. Those are the ones where a non-prison punishment is proportional to the crime they committed. Yeah, that's great. We all look forward to uh, you restore the safety of the public. Yeah, and uh, we only have two weeks left, actually. So are you going to do anything special in this short time? <laughs> you know, we, we are literally running all around the county. Uh, mm -hmm. I go from Long Beach to Los Angeles to Lancaster, from Santa Monica to Rosemead, Artesia, Burbank, Glendale, you know, uh, Glendora, El Monte, West Covina, mm -hmm. then back in the Valley, Calabasas, Westlake, Malibu. Mm -hmm. um, wow, that's a large it, district for you. Um, you know, it's a beautiful county. It's big. It's 4,000 square miles. Mm -hmm. Today, I'll be at the Taste of Soul, middle of, uh, you know, uh, Lamer Park. If anyone wants to join me, there'll be about mm, 100,000 people there. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Very interesting. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a fantastic journey. I've mm -hmm. got to meet amazing people that I otherwise wouldn't have met. I've got to go places that I never would have and never had visited before. Mm -hmm. if I get the chance to be the district attorney. I would need to work with everybody. We have a serious situation on our hand. It, this is an all hands on deck. I need every community organization, elected leader, neighborhood association, police, uh, prosecutors, victims. We all got to be working together. Right now, the district attorney, he's lost the trust of his own prosecutors. He's lost the trust of the police. He doesn't represent victims anymore, you know, which is why he's 30 points down in the polls. So mm -hmm. we have a chance to solve these problems. And with everybody's help, we absolutely will. And so, so far you're doing great, but I still want to know, do you feel any challenge or tough point so far of the campaign? So you're, you're right to, to focus on challenge. The, the biggest challenge, interesting, is the uninformed voter. The voter that somehow isn't getting any of the TV, radio, social media, all um, the sending out there, they um, get the ballot, they see Gascon's name, and then he's the district attorney, my name, Nathan Hockman, and I'm the challenger, and um, they flip a coin, and 50-50, you win the coin flip. Um, I'm convinced that if I can get information to the voter on how bad Gascon has been and how good I can restore safety, I win the coin flip 10 out of 10 times. Mm -hmm. My goal is to reach as many people as possible and tell them, do the research, you know, look, get information, make a smart decision. Mm -hmm. and that smart decision ultimately is a vote for Nathan Hockman for district attorney. And we also hope that Chinese community, we all know the story <laughs> you know, about you and Gasco. I, I believe we concerned about the, uh, the safety. I, I encourage everybody to vote, tell their family members to vote, their friends to vote, their neighbors. You know, if everybody votes, you know, we'll finally get rid of gas gone. I like to say that gas gone will be gone by the end of November 5th.